everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun project video, we're going to be back over on the CNC machine. I'm slowly but surely learning how to unlock all the potentials of this amazing machine that was given to me. In today's video, we're going to be carving out a butler on the CNC machine. Now, what is a butler, you may ask? It is something that usually men have on their nightstands or their desk. It's a little, just a little tray with a lip all the way around it to hold everything in. So basically like a serving tray, but very much in a smaller scale for men to put stuff in. Now I've already made one off camera and posted it on my Instagram. Here it is, and I think this wood is mahogany. I can't remember. It was given to me to do with as I please. So I tried making one. It's got the nice curves and the rounded edges on it. And basically for men, what we would do at the end of the day is take our watch, our rings, our bracelets off, if we carry a pocket knife, I'm old school, I know I carry one, you'd put it in this tray beside your bed on your nightstand. That way everything's in one nice neat area and it adds a touch of elegance being made out of some nice wood. The material I have today is a piece of one and one eighth inch thick ambrosia maple. It is spalted and it is beautiful. You can see the thickness there. And the reason it's one and one eighth inch thick is going to be key in this project because the file that I've programmed, I've designed it to cut out everything at one inch depth to leave that final eighth inch for me to release it over on the scroll saw. I know people are going to comment and say that you can cut all the way through once you have the MDF spool board down here because it doesn't damage the bit. But with this project being this size and as long as I'm still able to do so, I'm going to save the spool board as long as I can. It will prolong the life not cutting all the way through and using tabs to sand away. We're going to cut that final eighth inch off over on the scroll saw. I'm about to mount the board to the CNC machine so we can get started. I designed the whole file in Vetric. I still don't know how to show you guys that on camera. I don't have the program to show all that. I hope to get that soon. But the bit we're going to be using is a v-groove set this is the starter set from tools today really great company great customer service and we're going to be using a quarter inch diameter two fluke down cut spiral bit i've already got it installed in the cnc machine so without further ado let me move the camera over to the cnc machine we're going to get it mounted get it zeroed and get started And over here at the CNC machine, I'm going to begin by squaring up my material and attaching it to the MDF spool board with some basic wood screws. Get it nice and secured in place and then I'll sit down at the laptop and zero the machine out. Here you see me measuring to mark where home is. You manually set it over here on the laptop and I really like that about this CNC machine and once I have the file loaded I'll hit start it will begin by hollowing out the cavity and all in all it took around 35 to 40 minutes to cut this out ambrosia maple is a very hard wood so I was doing light quarter inch depth cuts and I came back periodically to suck up all the sawdust since I don't have a dust boot and keep everything nice and clear where I can keep a good visual on it I'm really loving this machine and unlocking all the capabilities it has If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I try to post on Instagram once or twice daily. I'd really appreciate the support. Again, this was just a scrap piece of wood that was destined for a wood stove somewhere and I picked it up and thought it was too good not to use.
just going through here and hollowing out the cavity. I was doing other things out in the workshop while this project was being done, but I did stay where I could keep my eye on it through the whole process. Now it's beginning the final outside cut, which will give the bowl, or the tray rather, its look. And again, I stopped the cut at 1 8 inch above the spool board to prolong the life of my spool board. And I took the machine back and released it with the screws. And I went over to my scroll saw with my usual number five reverse tooth scroll saw blades. And I cut as close to the perimeter as I could. And again, this just prolongs the life of my spool board. I could totally have cut everything out entirely on the CNC machine and left tabs, but I prefer doing it this way. And now I'll go over to the router and give it a one quarter inch round over on the bottom. And then it was time for lots and lots of sanding. Being a hardwood, the router bit did leave some burn marks on the bottom of the tray, so I did have to do a lot of sanding here. I softened over all the sharp edges with various grits of sandpaper. But after all the sanding was done, I took the piece outside and gave it several coats of clear gloss and the project was complete. And here we have the little completed CNC butler and it came out amazing made out of ambrosia maple wood. The spalting in it really really pops and gives it an added and unique characteristic that the original one I made off camera doesn't have. It has some beautiful grain in it, but the spalting in the ambrosia maple is really, really cool and really, really awesome. It took the CNC machine around an hour and 10 minutes to carve everything out, the pocket, and then releasing it with the profile of it. Like I said, as long as I'm able to take CNC projects over to the scroll saw and do the final outside cut to release everything. I'm going to continue to do that both on and off camera to prolong the life of the spool board. I want this to last as long as I can. I do like the feature that I'm just able to screw things down and I have to worry about the clamps. It's got a bunch of screw holes in it already from where I just took work and put it on there and mounted it with screws. But really, really fun, and I just wanted to let you know that that's the reason that I went to the scroll saw, and then we rounded over the bottom with a quarter inch round over bit on the router and sanded everything up and clear coated it. So all in all, about a two and a half hour project once you take everything into account. But this is awesome. I've seen these at craft fairs go between the $25 and $35 range, and for the amount of work that's in it, that's a good price and a great starter project to start batching out on a CNC machine. You could go a little bit farther and put little rubber feet on the bottom of it to grip the counter or the nightstand you put it at. Like I said, a lot of men get these and put them on their nightstand so at the end of the day they can take their keys out of their pocket. If they carry their knife with them, they can take that out. Loose pocket change, jewelry, maybe their billfold or wallet put it in there and then the next morning when they get up and get dressed it's right there and easily accessible for them to grab put in the pocket and go on their day but really really cool I had fun making this and I had fun watching the CNC make it I'm always learning and really starting to unlock all the potentials that this machine has I hope you like the video if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at artisan pirate I post there daily that's about all for this video. Remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.